everyone. Welcome back to my page. I am Avantika Kambli and today I have created a fire and smoke alarm which whenever there is fire or smoke in your premises it will turn from LED green to LED red and also it will ring a particular alarm. I hope you like this. Alright everyone so now I am going to tell you all the components that you will be needing. Alright everyone, so we have it here all set. You need to keep your two LEDs and your buzzer on the breadboard like that. Remember the positive should always be on the right side and the negative should always be on the left side. If you don't know what positive and negative is, then the long side is positive and the short side is negative. Just keep that back. <laughs> Alright. So now we're going to start with the connections. The first thing that we're going to be connecting are these LEDs. So for the LEDs, you're going to need these two resistors, one kilo ohm resistors. And now you need to connect the negative of the LEDs with these resistors. So let us do that. All right, here we go. We're just going to keep the other pin aside. I'm going to tell you where to connect it. Alright, done. Now, the other side of the resistors, we are going to be connecting to this blue line right here. So, let's do that. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Alright, so now you can see the connections. Both of the negatives of my LEDs are being connected to the negative side of red ball right here. Now, we are going to be making the connections for the positive of the LEDs. So for those, obviously you're going to need the male to male wires that I told you before. Let's do the green LED connections first. So we have my green wire here and we are going to be connecting it. So we have the positive right there. That's the line. Make sure it's in the correct line. Fix it in there. And now um, let's say I will connect this to pin number two. All right. So let's connect it to pin number two of my breadboard. We are officially done with our first connection on the Arduino board. Then the next thing that you're going to need to do is take the red wire and connect one side of it to the positive of the red LED. So we're going to just do that. And then the other side of the male to male wire, you're going to be putting it on pin number three of the arena board make sure you have the pins looking really nicely so look i've connected one to pin number two and one to pin number three all right now let us go on with our buzzer connections all right so we have the buzzer over here and the first thing that you need to do is take this wire and let us just connect the negative of the buzzer to this blue side of breadboard. That is the ground of breadboard. So let's do that. Let's just bend it a little and done. All right. Then we need to take one wire, which is this one, and connect it to the positive. So let's do that just gonna make sure which one is the positive so you can actually remove it all right now i know that two pin space all right two pin space so one two and i connect it over here okay there we go all right then the other side you're going to be connecting it 
to let's say pin number 11 all right so we just we can't reach pin number 11 from there so we're just gonna do it this way so this is um ground 13 so 8 9 10 11 all right so we have 11 here and fixed it there all right we are done with the connections of the components on the breadboard now we are going to start with our flame sensor connections so what you want to do first is connect those female to male wires on the flame sensor like this you can also follow a color code but that like it's upon you if you want to do it all right so the rightmost pin if you're holding the led up let me just keep this aside for now the rightmost pin if the led is up is the vcc the middle pin is always ground either way that or like that either way the middle pin will always be ground and the last pin is the d zero pin all right so first we're going to make the ground and vcc connections so the ground of the flame sensor which is this black wire to basically the ground of the breadboard okay so we're going to just connect it there it's the blue one all right let's do this all right done then you're going to connect the vcc pin that's the positive pin of flame sensor to the vc 5 volt pin of arduino if you don't know where that is the 5 volt pin is right here so there's v in ground ground and the next is 5 volts all right done and then the last one that's the d0 pin you have to connect it mm, let's see we'll connect it to pin number six all right let's do it pin number six it is all right so now all of these connections are done as you can see the flame sensor connections are officially done and now we are going to move on to these connections so basically um first you will need this black wire and you're going to be connecting it to the blue side of breadboard and the other side you're going to be connecting it to ground so 8 9 10 11 12 13 and after 13 we have ground so we know this is ground all right then then we're gonna need the red wire and the red wire is a part of battery connections so i am going to reveal this what will actually happen let's do this all right everyone so i'm done with the coding and now it is time to test this out so the connections of the battery are that you need to put the positive of the battery that's the red wire to the v in pin of arduino board and the negative should go to the negative of breadboard now let's start i have a candle near me and you can see that the range is also a lot Now it's so far, but it's still alerting it. So now you saw what this flame sensor can do. It's so far, look, it's that far, and it's still alerting it. Look. It is also detecting the smoke. So now you saw what this flame sensor can do. It is really helpful if you want a fire detector and smoke detector in your house. I hope you like this video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.